support. No, I so please. Hopefully everyone had a good Halloween and watched the pop analysis that came out then too. Let's see how November starts us off. This will be for the week of November 4th. 2023. On this day in music back in 1992, I Will Always Love You, one of Whitney Houston's iconic songs would be released. And fun fact, it's actually a cover of a Dolly Parton song that came out in 1974. Motoring, watch very much aptly named because it would have been 40 years and I believe a night since Night Ranger existed, given before that they were Ranger for two years and before that they were stereo for a year. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Loive very much holding it down, preventing all of the albums from being Christmas albums, and Sinatra is there as well. Singing I love rock and roll. Album number 26 from the legendary Rolling Stones. And their first album to have original material since 2005's A Bigger Bang, especially since the passing of Charlie Watts back in 2021. I don't want to wait to do this one more time. One more time. Album number nine, which is weird because their previous album was called Nine, not this one, with the return of Tom DeLonge, most notably. Meet me halfway, bitch, I'm going all in And I never pull back, so I'll tell my nigga Taco The return of Tyler the Wolf's second studio album All the way back from 2013 Reissued now on vinyl with a new cover that you're seeing done by Mark Ryden <laughs> Troy Sivan holding on to the number one spot on the EDM charts, but the Chainsmokers released a new thing, so we'll see what happens. And now I need some help from the maestro, please! I know that last night we let the liquor talk, I can't remember everything we said. Just like the last one, it keeps hopping off and then hopping back on here. No, Reviewed fairly well, getting good scores from everybody except the Financial Times in the UK. Continuing the trend of getting every single one of their studio albums into the top five on the US Billboard 200 since 12 by 5 back in 1964. Even the one before that, their first US album, England's newest hit makers, got to number 11. Slimy, wow. Slimy, wow. Well, we'll just start going through the list. The track Rich Baby Daddy has an interpolation of Dog Days Are Over by Florence and the Machine, and it was also released as the third single on October 13th. I don't want to wait to do this one more time. One more time. So they are actually touring for this album, despite their world tour 2023-2024. Oddly enough, they phrased it as the one more time tour as an additional leg of their current world tour. So not a bad way to start the penultimate month of 2023. Let's see how November continues on next week. And now I need some help, please. 